Hi everyone, my name is Justin Odisho, and in this episode of Every Effect and After Effects Explained, we're going to be taking a look at the Obsolete Effects folder. So why would we keep an effect in here that's obsolete? Basically, all of these are things that there's now better or newer ways and plugins of doing them. However, these are mostly still kept in here for projects that were created in older versions of After Effects, so it keeps kind of a backwards compatibility for those projects. But going over some stuff that's in here, we have basic 3D is the first one. And let's say actually we apply this onto a text layer. If I apply the basic 3D onto that text layer, it just allows me to do like a very crude but basic swivel or tilt in a 3D way. So you could put it on logos or shapes or a really simple 3D text. But you know, if you're already in After Effects, there's entire 3D camera systems and 3D cameras that you can set up for way more complicated and advanced movements if you like. Next up we have basic text. So this is a way for us to create a really simple text just to maybe if we wanted to label our clips in a certain way and you can composite it onto the original clip or put it in a certain corner. Next up we have color key. So this is a way to key out a certain color like a green screen for example or let's say I wanted to key out the blue of this river and increase the color tolerance etc. It works just like many of the other keying effects that we've seen. However, in this case, like I showed you in the keying episode a couple videos back, you have a lot more powerful and flexible tools now like key light or many of the more specific keying tools. So check out that episode if you're interested. And also we have Gaussian blur, which is just a simple blur tool. However, like I showed you in the earlier episode of the blur and sharpen, we have so many other blurs here and we have like a more enhanced Gaussian blur. Lightning is just another one of those where there's a newer tool for this like the lightning effect in the generate folder and that's now called advanced lightning. Same idea but just newer engines and stuff and flexibilities working behind it. Luma key again one that we have in the keying folder. We have different ways to do this kind of thing. So you can basically key out the dark parts or the lighter parts, maybe even do sky replacements in this way. But again, you have more up-to-date keying tools available to you just in the keying folder that can do all of these things and more. So check out that episode. Path text is another text tool that allows you to write on a certain path. So by default, it's like this curve, but it allows you to curve in different ways and write on a path. However, Again, with the text tool and just the pen tool and masks and shapes, you can write on paths without having to do this effect. Just to show you how that works now, for example, if you just drop down the text layer and go to path options, you can actually draw a, a mask in any shape. So let's just say, for example, I use a circle and I set the path to be mask one. Now we have the text wrapping around that circle. So I might want to adjust certain things about it, like the size in the character panel, just so it fits better. But we can make any mask the path of the text in this way. Now the next one, reduce interlaced flicker, it gets a bit technical. Look into the Wikipedia article on interlaced footage. And what reduce interlaced flicker tries to do is just add a little bit of a blur to stop that. But I believe now interlacing is kind of becoming obsolete and interlaced footage can also just be interpreted in the project menu where you can right click and interpret the footage and you can choose different ways to give priority to certain fields. And lastly, we have spill suppressor. So kind of like we saw in the keying episode, this will try to suppress a certain color from spilling out across the clip. Um, it might work for green screens or things where you're trying to keep a certain color contained. In this case, we see that there's this kind of brown noise that is kind of cloaked over the image. And if I use spill suppressor, it will try to take out that color and suppress it or desaturate it so that if I wanted to, I can get a cleaner key or selection. But again, you have this effect in the keying folder in newer and better versions. So that's the obsolete folder at a basic glance. It's just stuff that's for backwards compatibility and in other folders in better ways. So hopefully this gave you a good idea. If you're new to this channel, definitely subscribe if you want to stay tuned for all of my new videos. 
I'm going over every effect in After Effects Explained. So in the next episode, we're going to take a look at everything in the Perspective folder. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you over in the next episode.